Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas. Oh, America! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and joining us this morning, Paul Rodriguez. Um, you guys might know him from the live music scene, for <clears> one, right? Could be. Could be. That's Could be. Could be. Okay, and of course, Andy's with us. We're going to talk about his uh, presentation that he gave Friday at the Pack. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And Jen. Hey, Jen's with us. Yay. Hi, Jen. I know. It feels like it's been forever. It, it does. It does. It does. It, it, does. Has, it has been. I haven't seen you since we did the horse show. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a while. Yeah. Wow. And of course, Princess Mufasa. Okay. Mm. So, where would you guys like to start? <laughs> Let's start with poor Paul, because he's kind of like, it. Poor Paul? Yeah, he had a rough weekend. He had a rough weekend. So, what was that? <laughs> Saturday was a big event. Saturday was a, was a cool event. It was a friend of mine that I grew up with. He had a birthday party out by Schulte, Kansas. Oh, you And birthday. they had a pig roast, and they brought in a uh, flatbed trailer at, at this uh, venue. And there's a lot of people out there, and they had kegs and uh, live music. I got to play, and Sleepy Truckers played, and I played with Sleepy Truckers. You did? Oh, yeah. wow, cool. Yeah, cool. It was a lot of fun. Cool. Got and to see a lot of people that I grew up with out in Clearwater. You're still hungover? This is two days later. I'm not hungover. No, he went to the Blues Crawl yesterday. Uh, oh, How see, was the Blues that's... Crawl? It was good. I saw several bands, and uh, the ones that we saw were all good. Yeah, where'd you go? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we talked about there's not very many live venues, it seems like, left. We started out at Loft 150 oh, downtown, and then went over to Mort's. Good one. And then went over to Barleycorns. By the time we got there, the band was already done. Wow. Um, so we just kind of... Moved around a little bit and then went over to some of the local hangouts and, right. and finished out the evening. Fun. Yeah. Okay, so live music and partying, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Poor and, uh, you poor baby. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> what are you playing? Guitar or, or and vocals. Oh, what cool. doesn't he, though? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, okay. And then your weekend started off with Friday. We're going to get to a little bit more into that, but you went Friday afternoon to the Pachyderm weekly luncheon. Mm -hmm. How'd that go? Oh, it went fantastic. Yeah. So much fun. I love the Pachyderm Club. Great individuals out there. Great food. Uh, great food. Great Absolutely. And uh, they bring they bring in some great speakers every week, and I got to be honored to be able to speak to them on Friday. I know, and I so. can't wait. We're going to come back and talk about his uh, topic was uh, millennials. Where is the Pachyderm? They hold their Friday lunch at the top of the, um, yeah. uh, the Ruffin room. Building. Yeah. Bank. It was a bank. I don't know if it's still the same name of the bank, bank, but it it's the Ruffin Building there at Broadway and Douglas. Mm. And then the top floor is what's the name of that? The Petroleum Club. The Petroleum Club. Mm. That's where that's at now. Yep. I've been there before, but it's been a long time right? since mm -hmm. I've been there. I used to go all the time, but you know, hey, Jen, what have you been doing? Anything uh, you can talk about? Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, no, you know, what? what? <laughs> you know. Just, um, we're getting ready to go on a vacation again. Yeah. Uh, Nova and I are going to go to Disney. And Which one? To Disney World. Okay. Florida. Yeah. In Florida. Mm. Yeah. I'm also getting ready to go to Lego Land. Yeah. yeah. Lego are you guys going? Wear shoes. I went to yeah, no kidding. Kansas City and I was not impressed. So, no. That would just get very sad. Yeah. Uh, right. I, you know, but other than that, I just can't get over being sick. If I'm, oh. I'm sick and then Nova's sick and then I'm sick and then Nova's sick. So, there's been a lot of that going around. A lot of it yes. is respiratorial. There's been so many bronchitis and then repeat bronchitis, and, and then it goes into pneumonia. I mean, this yeah. has been a really brutal year yeah. since about November or even October. October. I, I mean, say. I'm on the fence with this as to what's causing it. Could it possibly be this weather? Hey, well, you know, and oh. you know who wants to come back on the show? I forgot to get back with her, uh, Brianna, that you talked to the other yes. day. Yeah, because I'm, look, I mean, a lot of people are reporting this. Does your back hurt? Mine hurts every day. That, yeah. No, but does it uh, hurt unusually? Hurt. I couldn't tell you. It hurts every day. No. Okay. I've been seeing a lot of Let's just, we're going to throw this out there. I can't remember who it was, but somebody did report maybe two or three Cam weeks trails, ago. And then it, it, it sparked this yeah. wonderful <laughs> controversy it of just contrails went on and on. versus chemtrails versus whether conspiracies can actually happen because, oh, maybe the sky is falling. And just, <laughs> I mean, oh. it, it was a fun experience to embark on okay but here's the thing there is actually something that the government has made they used it they openly admit to using it mm -hmm. in the vietnam war correct mm -hmm. and supposedly you're not allowed to use it but i mean conspiracies happen you're not supposed to do a lot of things yet people do it exactly and i don't know if you guys noticed but about two weeks ago the skies of wichita kansas look like a checkerboard i know 
Okay, and and I that's what sparked me to ask. And then they're like, well, it's to control the weather, but it does have adverse effects on people, and it's it has something to do with the money and how if you follow the money, people that predict the weather, they make money off of it, or or I don't know. Okay, you, yeah. you know, Brianna knows. Yeah. Okay, anyway. And one thing led to another and started describing these effects that it has on people. Sinus infections, Mm -hmm. pneumonia, back aches, and weird rashes. Mm -hmm. And when I say weird rashes, like, just like hot spots on your body. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how they're describing it. And digestive issues, horrible sleep issues. I mean, and and these symptoms, of course, describe, like, a million different things. Right. But right. it's just funny that the weather is so highly affected mm-hmm. and everybody's talking about this pe- pressure headache. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, I know. That pressure headache's nasty. Well, know? I think it depends. Just like so many things, it depends on who you talk to. There's going to be people that agree that there are chemtrails and that the government is aware of it. And internationally, there's a lot of new organizations that have come together to also talk about that. So, you know, and then you saw people that are like, oh, you guys are just so tinfoil. It's you know, de-icer. Well, it's, if it's yeah. de-icer, they would use more of it on the big planes. So you would see it on the big planes mm-hmm. as well. And probably in a larger form since the wings are larger. I mean, when, when, when people always want to fight about this, the first thing I always say just to kind of break is it down is... that I'll talk about politics, religion, or chemtrails. No, I just, <laughs> I just look at them and go, uh, uh, crop dusters. I mean, that's part of it. I mean, it's... it's crop duster. It's I mean, if a crop duster can go out there and just lay down, you know, a ton of uh, fertilizer. Yeah. For, yeah. Insecticides and, and fertilizers and just all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, seriously, if they can do it, do you think anybody else possibly could be doing it too? They could. Yeah. And I think too, you know, yeah. I mean, we know that we've been doing uh, weather modification with cloud seeding. For yeah. a long time. Okay. So, you know, I don't, I don't, if, if, if people get so testy, you know, what do you mean that's another conspiracy theory? Blah, 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 blah. Do and you like, realize yeah. how many people it would take to have a conspiracy on this level, blah, blah, blah? Well, uh, yeah, it's called signing into the military. You're sworn to secrecy. Right. So, I mean, hello. Yeah, but even the military is starting to talk about a few things these Well, days. Uh, people's hush agreements are, are expiring right. for, like, Another thing that you probably don't want to talk about, but like Area 51. It's like, no. I won't talk about Area 51. <laughs> I won't talk about that either then. I'll talk about, I think that we do have aliens because if that I'm, is the only I'm excuse. I'm obviously a descendant of them. That would explain Andy, right? It explains well, a so lot of people I know. <laughs> well, okay, well, honestly, though, we are descendants of, I mean, some of us are RH negative, our blood type, right. okay? Just the RH negative blood type means what? We lack the rhesus monkey gene, Okay. You can have no more or no less than what you've inherited. Mm -hmm. So if you lack that, then you didn't have that in your heritage. So some of us, and they're tracing this RH factor back to... Are you alien? It's I am. I'm All a right. of the cool. fallen angels, hello, okay. or ancient astronauts, because that's where they've traced mm-hmm. it back to, like Native Americans. Native Americans used to cut their hands to see if they're blood brothers. Yeah, but mm-hmm. not to become blood brothers, to mm-hmm. see, because negative blood and, and positive blood has an immediate reaction. Right, right, yeah. And so, I mean, just a whole bunch of things. It's very okay, so is there classic. anything else? Do you, okay, do you That's believe... That's not what I did this weekend for your information. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just curious. Is that how you... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what is your... <laughs> what's your opinion on on, uh, on uh, weather modification and things coming out of chemtrails? <sighs> <laughs> Is the sky falling? I'm palm? still on the <laughs> Oh, I, I'm sure it happens. <coughs> yeah. I think it happens more than most people <laughs> realize. I think you're right. I think and you're right. there's there's definitely. I mean, it, it's open that weather modification happens, and it happens all the time. Exactly, and that it has an adverse effect. I'm on sure the population. it does. Oh, of course it does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, and your opinion on. Uh, well, I mean, I'm with you. It's, they do the dust trails. They yeah. do the chemtrails. I, they do the seeding of the, the clouds. I mean, if they do all that, what else? You're it's, lethargic and you don't care. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, I, it's, it happens whether it's for the the bad intentions to harm people or whether it's the testing and the seeding of the clouds to try and do more weather modification. I mean, we see it. You can see, as you mentioned, kind of the the, the, check guard, the checkers yeah. in, the, in the sky. You go out to Garden City and it happens there every day on a daily basis. Oh, They're yeah. just, and by the end of the day, it's cloudy every day. Mm-hmm. So something's there, whether it's bad, whether it's uh, good, whether it's whatever. I mean, I really don't have an opinion, but I mean, we can definitely see that they're trying to do something test-wise or trying to do something in the sky. Something, and it makes me wonder what, are they still doing weather 
air testing, uh, seed, cloud seeding, no, or are they now trying to do population control? Well, are that's they some of the other conspiracies. Exactly. Okay. So when I started, I was like, man, I, I feel like I'm not in control of my own health. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that if you want to get deeper into the rabbit hole conspiracy theories, they blame uh, Hurricane Katrina on George Bush that he created that because I of knew the, it. Oil, the oil no, offshore is there. <laughs> if you want to go into more conspiracies of the of the higher risk of tornadoes and everything that's been happening in the last couple of years from President the Barack weird Obama, timing. So, oh, I mean, that was a, that no. was his fault. Apparently, that was his uh, fault. So I'm just trying can, to remember. You can his get fault into those was. weeds there of What's some not? deep dark conspiracy <laughs> theories. Well, I, I mean, everything was his fault. I, that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought everything in that time period it was. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, the people yeah. I work with. But listen, See? seriously yeah, yeah. though, like this weather, ten inches of snow in northwestern Kansas and western Kansas. What? Well, this you, is May first. It's happened. At when this you time. have happened. when you have an, a state of emergency yeah, from the governor with snow and with flooding. Right. I mean, think about it. That is weird because we're like smack dab in the middle. You know, one, one side of us is flooded. The other side of us is. You know, snowed, snowed out, out like crazy. Yeah. We had highways closed. You could. Yeah. I have friends stranded in yeah, Colorado. Yeah, seventy. Is I met closed. somebody last just night. North, just west of is uh, from there, and they stayed here sorry. in Wichita because of the weather in western Kansas. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad I wasn't traveling. You know, but it's Man, bad. You would think it'd be a great time to plan a vacation. No, 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 no. Because it was April, April last year. In May, it's usually beautiful. And I was in a whiteout and serious blizzard April of last year. So, no, it does happen, you know. Where? Yeah. In, in Colorado. In Colorado. <laughs> it don't I happen in Kansas. I didn't Last time it. was 1914. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect it here, but, it, it, you know, it is kind of crazy. Okay, so other than conspiracy theories and, and, and all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff, we're going to take a quick break, but we promise we'll be right back with more real people, real life, Wichita, Kansas, America. America. <laughs> <laughs> 